Morning, baby. Morning, baby. Morning. I'll be seeing you today. I've just woke up. Baby. Just woke up now, Steph. I'm absolutely knackered, love. Woke up with the munchies, I wanted something to eat. Um, but hope you're okay, babe. What I'll do is, I'll um, text you properly tomorrow. I'm just gonna have some bag of Doritos and that now. Um, I'm gonna have a chat. I don't normally fucking go out and drink like, but um, I did sit there with last night. Hey, love. Say hello, Phil. Hello, love. <laughs> I am just stuck now. I'm not rough like. I'm here, darling, until. When are we, Phil? Till Sunday, Monday. I'm just gonna crack over another can of lager now. Fuck it, I'm having another drink, babe. You gonna call me? Hey, baby, say hello, lads. Yo, yo, yo. Scouts are like there, mate. Oh, calm down. No, but um, listen, babe, I'll be here till Sunday, Monday. And I mean, you're gonna make arrangements to meet up. And uh, what about the weekend? Are we still doing the uh, the apartment? Just told the lads how much I cared about you and I'm falling in love with you. Having a boys, they said that I don't shut up about you. But, um, yeah. So I'm just telling you in front of them so you know I'm not ashamed of you. Calm down there, head. Babe, they haven't got a fucking clue how to talk. <laughs> Scout. Because that's how Scout to speak, they go, You're right there, <laughs> kid. Hello. Say hello, Josh. Pop, 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 pop. Say hello, lads. Hey. You alright, love? Josh? Phil? Pop, pop, pop. Gangster. You took the your Steph. French in the casino now. Um, no, what it is, right? I've got Dorman. I don't speak about things on fucking social media. I'm, I'm a, I've got a bit. I've got a security business. Bernacle Street Fight Ball Security. So I've got loads of lads working for me on the doors. So what I do is I go out on a night and I go and check that I go and check that no one's causing trouble. But I've took all over the doors in Yorkshire. But I'm gonna go on nationwide. So yeah, but I don't really speak, I don't talk shit about it online. I just keep it to myself. But yeah. So I'm not drinking, I'm drinking orange juice, I'm just walking around, checking all the doors and checking all the lads that are okay. Hey, I'm gonna be honest with you, right? I've got a security right, but what it is right. I don't like saying it because it sounds cringy. I've got a gang. I've got about 300 lads under me. That like, I don't know if, I don't know if you've seen it on Facebook, but yeah, but I always say the hashtag the firm. I've got a gang of people that, with, that are with me as a team that I've got my back, but also do like security for me. So uh, we do protection. We do um, like look over deals, drug deals, stuff like that. But like, not things that I want to speak about online. No, I'll message you when I get home, babe. I'm not to hide. No, I'm not drinking, love. I'm just uh, sitting at my mates now, having some tea. Hello, Steph. Say hello. Hello. Say hello. Hello. I've just, <laughs> I've just woke up now. Knackered. I'll be uh, setting off tomorrow, <laughs> say, anyway, so yeah. But I'll give you the text when I get up. Morning, love. Just getting the train to mine now. Hey, listen to this as well, Steph. You're not going to believe it. You know they got my ton uh, teeth done last week. Three of them have only come out. Tell you what, babe, what a fucking shan with these teeth. And you just can't tell when I'm talking, but I don't know, I'm starting to feel a bit sore, you know, in my gum. But I'm looking forward to meeting you anyway, so that's me now. I can't, to be honest with you, it's no good turn a drink because it's no good for my mind. I need to start getting healthy again. I'm happy when I'm at home, you know, at my mum's. I just feel like I've been getting in a really bad place lately, man. I just need to sort myself out because I've got you now. I've got this new fight company that I've started. I've got so much to look forward to and I just don't want to fuck it up. I'm trying to keep away from like crime and life and trouble. And I know what I'm like, I'm a fucking lunatic. And I don't, that's why I've got a big team of good lads around us that are loyal because I don't ever want to get into them situations anymore. I just want to be, live a normal, quiet, 
life where I'm doing all right and I've got you and we'll look after your little baby and create a family together for the future. You know, it's only mum and dad are happy and they're comfortable. Couldn't give a fuck about me, I'd live in a shed. You know what I mean? I just want to make sure my mum and dad's okay, my nana's okay, and I'm looking after you, so... But I mean, I don't mean finance, I mean looking after you, like, emotionally and physically, do you know what I mean? Yes. Well, you want to fight again, you can, yeah? I'm supposed to be, um, I haven't really said anything publicly. I'm actually supposed to be fighting Saudi Arabia. Uh, in September, October, and they come back for, for a lot of money. So, uh, yeah, just, it was, just that'll give us something to motivate myself again. I need to do it again because I miss it, and I've never been beat. So, but I just feel like I've retired too early. I just feel like I've still got it in me, Steph. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, but yeah. When I do fight, you can come and watch. Yeah. I want you to. I want you to support me and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, like I say, I just want you to be there for me and I'll be there for you. Like you say, if we're on a, ever on a night out, or me and you in a restaurant, someone says to me to you about Tommy, I'll just jump up and fucking nut them. But I can't see them uh, doing it like, but not everybody knows who I am, so you probably will get cheeky bastards that don't give a fuck, but it'll get dealt with anyway. You'll find one thing with me, Steph, when time goes on. I don't talk, I do. I don't talk shit, I don't big myself up. If there's a problem, it gets dealt with there and then. I'll tell you next, if he's a good boy and stays his keep, keeps himself clean, I won't batter him, will I? <laughs> you're not doing the right thing. You, you're not doing the right thing. I told you, I'm not arsed, man. I can't be bothered with drama. Right? This is all you are. This is exactly what you're doing. You're sitting on the phone to him, having to explain yourself. Why should you? All you have to do is tell him, I respect the position that we're in, Right, I'm not going to be meeting his daughter anytime soon, so why are you sitting there taking abuse off him? Go backbone and get a grip. I really can't, that confuses me about you. I'm not even getting myself wound up about this. I will leave you alone then. I will. No problem. Just delete my number, love. I'm not going to keep chasing after you anymore. Every, every time that you start fucking me off, See now, I'm not going to chase after you. So if you want to delete my number, just delete it and see you later, love. Right, so just don't bother us anymore. Don't text us in five days' time, right? Every time we have a fallout, because we don't get to speak on the phone, so we can't get to sort anything out, you decide to go and spit your dummy out and fuck off. I'll see you later then. What I'll do, I'll delete your number for you. I'll do it myself so I even got your number. You know what I mean with you, right? You're, you're like, I'm not, I could not trust this situation. I'm going to get feelings for you. We're going to meet up, spend time together, and you can just say it over like that. Like, really? Like, seriously, man. Listen, whatever issue you've got with your ex, that's with your fucking ex, right? If he respected you, wouldn't be calling you a slag. The way he speaks to you and you think that's a good father, Listen, I would never, ever, my dad would never speak to my mother like that. I've been brought up in a respectable household where the man respects a woman, right? And what you're doing is, you're explaining yourself to him when you don't need to. Yeah, tell him that you've got a, a new boyfriend and the daughter, he's going nowhere near your daughter just yet because I don't even know the mother, do you know what I mean? But the fact you're sitting, letting him speak to you like filth, it's like, I don't get it, man. But we don't even get to sort things out over the phone. Like we don't get to have a conversation because you just fucking drop us all the time. <clears throat> but do you know what, right, Steph? Do you know how pathetic this is having to talk over message? It's crazy. I've never even been in this situation before, so I don't know. I've got my sister's got seven kids, and, and the, the second, the father to her now four kids has brought up the other three. So, yeah, I do know exactly what it's like because um, I've been around it with my sister's ex boyfriend. Battering him for fucking starting with her. So I listen. I've been through it all. I know what it's like. I know what. It's, listen, your daughter is not gonna know about me for a long time because I need to get to know you, and you need to get to know me, right? What you're doing is you're explaining yourself to a man that has no respect for you, right? And he doesn't respect your daughter because you don't call you the, the woman that you got a kid to the mother a slag, at all. Why are you a slag? Because you've moved on and met someone else. How does that make you a slag? But you're sitting explaining yourself to him and you shouldn't have to. So this is going to be a relationship with three people in. I can see it right now, man. 
doesn't bother me that he's a dad to your kid. But you're fucking telling him everything that he has. Like, you, what are you going to tell him when we're going to the apartment on the weekend? Are you going to tell him every time we go for a meal? Like, who is he? He's your ex. I don't get it. This is what I'm com. This is what I'm confused about. What's happening, Steph? Is my texts are coming across the wrong way? Like you're taking it out of context. Like I want to be with you, but I don't know your situation, and I don't know what you say to your ex and stuff. All this talk about is just it's all about your ex. It's like all we speak about your ex. It's like I don't want to get in a relationship with somebody. Gonna, listen, your ex is your daughter's dad. Right, but he talks to you like an absolute piece of crap. Like, call, you don't call women slags and stuff, man. Do you know what I mean? You gotta have a bit of respect that way. But I do want to be with you. I just want us to have a proper, sensible chat tonight, where me and you are having a talk. We can talk properly when there's no ears about, and we can talk because you can't really sort problems out on the phone, eh? Yeah, I just call me later, babe. Like, I, I, I just think if we have a chat over the phone properly. It'll be able you can like understand each other better. Like sometimes the thing is with me, I don't like. Me, I'd see me, I would never call a woman a slag. I I speak to women. You speak to a woman how you fucking treat your mum. You know what I mean, but especially you've got a, if I had a kid to a woman, just say me and you've got a baby. I would never ever disrespect my baby's mum like that. Like calling you that why? Because you're moving on. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't make it a slag. Um, he should have thought about that when he should have, when he went with a munter. But I don't know, I just feel like you still fucking like him because, like, you're always answering to him. Like, he's not even out your life. He's constantly around yours and, yeah, he's got to see your daughter, but then he's trying to chat you up and trying to get back with you and he's texting you and phoning you and it's like, how are we even meant to have a relationship? Imagine if I'm with you on the weekend and he's ringing you constantly. Fucking hell. Um, like I say, babe, I'm not, I, I don't have any problem with him and your daughter at all. I've got a problem with him calling you a slag. Is right. Is it his business, me? Well, it isn't. What his business is, his daughter. That's his business. I'm not going to be meeting his daughter for a long time, <laughs> and probably I'll probably start googling my name and looking at all the troll and shit now and saying, "Is that fucking nonsense?" <laughs> but um, aye, it is what it is, isn't it? But anyways, fuck it. Um. But yeah, no, it isn't his business, me. His business is daughter, yeah. But, it's, you, but it's not, you don't have to tell him every time you fucking speak to me, do you? I just thought I'd do you a little video, babe. With my bald head and my Botox. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, I'm just, I'm just mad at him. I just, I don't know, like, I just, I feel, I don't want it, want it to be a free way. Listen, I respect him as the kid's dad. I will never ever stop him seeing her. I won't even get involved in that because that's nothing to do with me. But I won't have him speaking to you that way, do you know what I mean? That's not good. But we'll speak tonight when you get time. Love you. Just thought I'd let you see me sitting in the comfort of my own home, babe. See, I'm not as good looking as you think. I'm looking fucking rough. Got a fucking tea heart there, look. Look like a monster, <laughs> but I do like you, and I am when I'm when I'm better and I'm done up, and I'm looking healthy. I do, I, I do screw up nicely, but I don't think to say that I care about you. I like you a lot. I've got nothing to hide. I'm, I've got no stone unturned with you, man. If you want to look at my phone, you can. I've got two. This one that I'm recording off has got no SIM card in it, so people can't text on it anyway. And I've got that one. Is the one that I make the phone calls to the fighters. When I'm with you, on Saturday, I'll show you them both. And you don't want to, I know you don't want to, because you trust me. But I'm going to show you, for my own peace of mind, I'm going to show you my phones, and I'm going to show you my uh, record. And hopefully that'll ease your mind a little bit, that I'm not this fuckboy that you think. How is babe? Okay now, what do you mean? Babe, I've told you the truth about everything, man. Like, honestly, I'll even bring you my fucking criminal record check. Everything. I'm gonna, sh listen, I'm bringing it anyways, because I'm gonna show you with like all my like convictions and stuff. You can see with the bit with like slapping the bird's ass and you can see the, like racism and that. I've been done for like petty, like mostly petty stuff. 
Um, but I'm bringing it anyway because it's, uh, it's just like a thing off my, uh, like a weight off my shoulder for you as well. Yeah. There's knee fucking Jimmy Savile's round here, Mush, I'll tell you. Knee fucking Rolf Harris is Mush. If I was a fucking rock run, if I was a Jimmy Savile case, babe, I'd be on fucking line, man. Google my name. <laughs> knee fucking Jimmy's here, Mush. The people call us what? Uh, N, yeah. Well, trolls do, not like normal people. But uh, I just, I just took the piss out myself. It's got, it got that bad, right? I've been trolled for four years. I ended up getting second in the mental hospital because what happened was their trolling um, triggered my abuse when I was a kid. So what they were calling me, I've had, had actually had done to me. So now I just take the piss out of it and say, if the rumours were true, Decker Eddie would be the Cumbrian version of fucking Ted Bundy, wouldn't he? It came about because I openly spoke about it publicly a couple of years ago. Because, like I say, when you speak about something publicly, you've got nothing to hide, have you? That's how it came about. They grabbed hold of it. Um, and they've absolutely fucking hammered us over it. Why, babe? Um, no, I won't, no. She'll do it on the slaying in private and then she'll tell you. But when you do one, you're not supposed to tell people. You're not supposed to, it's a criminal offence to tell the public about it. Um, see, what else I haven't told you is my trolls <coughs> actually pretended to, well, they never pretended to be me. They got paperwork and made loads of fake pa paperwork up saying I had all these sexual offences in it, right? And they started spreading it around social media. So that's why I'm a bit funny about people going behind my back. You going to have a phone chat anywhere? Yeah, that's 100% true, bear bye. This is why allegations ruin men's life, because when they're innocent, it still goes on like a little police record thing. Any, any, any a gal allegation made by a woman or a kid stays on your, on your record for life, like in the police record. So, how can a man be judged from something that he hasn't done? It is what it is, babe, isn't it? But if your mum gets it, she'll be lying, saying that I'm a danger to you and your daughter, because you can only do it if you feel at risk of your partner, which I understand, but I wouldn't hit you. I'd be, I could understand if I was abusive to you and fucking battering you, do you know what I mean? And Like, you hate Darren G, I hate him. Don't ever speak about him. I don't want to hear about him again. I don't ever want you to go looking for him. He's a fucking horrible, scummy dirty bastard that beats women up and deflected it all on me and tried to ruin my life and onto me off that's why we had a fight he's the man that started my trolling campaign that's why i don't want you to go looking for the cunts for this story it's like with that the way you hate darren i hate him i just prefer you i just want you to promise me you won't go looking for the cunt because i don't know why you'd be interested in looking for him anyway because he's a fucking scumbag Told you, trolls, as soon as you like starting my stuff, they'll start targeting you, sending you stuff, fake recordings and all that shit, yep. And yeah, I told you, babe. I knew exactly that would happen. Just, uh, just don't li like anything on my Facebook. But that's a troll's troll, a fake, a fake, fucking absolute fake. It's honestly, it's like, it's so pathetic. That's why I made a video today. Nobody believes all the bullshit. But that's what the way it is, isn't it? That's what they like. But they're under in police investigation now, anyway. Of course I will. But are you sure you've not got anybody? Are you positive you've not got anybody? I want you to text me in the morning, babe. I like a nice morning text. No, um, what you do is... It's just that you don't like never want to speak on a night like you didn't last night either. You just went a bit quieter. Um, yeah. Um, I'll show you how to, what you do is go to your settings, go to general, and it'll say deactivation. I'll show you. What you do is you go to your settings, go to personal details, go to account ownership, and deactivate that way, babe. Yeah, no problem, darling. Do you know what? I'd come off. I'm actually listen. I'm actually coming off Facebook and it's all social medias. I'm actually getting a social media team to run all my accounts, so I won't be handling them anymore. Babe, 
something I don't want to speak about over the phone. When we spend the two days together, I'm going to sit. You're going. I'm going to sit with you, and you're going to watch my expose. I made. I made an expose, but it's three hours long. So when me and you are sitting in that apartment, chilled out on the night, we'll sit on my phone and we'll watch the the full expose. Okay? You'll be shocked. I've just got it on my phone. No one else has got it because it, I got. I took it down. But um, you want to see the foot got edited like a documentary, and I want to show you it all. It's called the expose. You know what? I'm actually going to show you the trailer. Right? Watch this trailer. Watch this trailer right now. Okay, and you're going to hear a lad say, I beat my mother and choked her. All the voices you hear are the trolls. Okay, and you'll probably hear my voice saying to a lad, you got done for rape. Listen to all this, right? The Scotch voice and the woman are the main trolls. Listen to this. Um, well, that's a trailer to it, right? You wouldn't believe what they've done. Like, really. I've got mental health issues because of it now. I don't trust people. I've got uh, sexually abused as a child. And when these started munching me off, it brought back trauma. I've never been the same since. I'm on diazepam, so it's like 100 milligram of sertraline a day and 15 milligrams of diazepam. My head's fucked. Um, but I try and do the best I can. I try and succeed still. Um, um, but the man that your brother mentioned, he's the one that started it all. And because he nonsense me off, you know, like Darren G uses people's names to get his cell in the public domain. This lad's exactly like Darren G. He's used my name to get famous. But you'll see it all, man. You'll see bribes, offering people five grand to, to ruin us. Fake police recordings, like all these recordings, it's all fake stuff. Everything's fake. I've got all my real paperwork and they fucking hate it. You know why they hate it now? Because I'm succeeding. You know what they've lost me? They've lost me over £110,000 in sponsorship money. But you know what? They aren't stopping me now because this fucking bare knuckle street fighting balls is going to the top. Get up! I, admit, I, committed, I tried to commit suicide three times, man. I got sectioned. Um, it's mental, man. Crazy. But anyways, we won't talk about that. Uh, I have took it all to the police. <coughs> I'm getting solicitors involved in everything and I'm suing them. Now I know where all the people are. I'm suing them. It's actually an ongoing police investigation right now. Uh, smear campaign, harassment, stalking, defamation of character, threats to life. Listen to this, right? I was in hospital in October with, with sepsis. I was on a drip out cold. One of the trolls came into the hospital and was going to poison us, try to get onto the ward. If I didn't have my career now, I'd be sitting doing life in prison. You wouldn't believe I was a very naughty person years ago, and I've totally changed my life around, and I don't want to go back down that route. They're jealous of everything, the films and my book, everything, I've got a book about my life, they're jealous of everything, man. Watch that film clip, that's what they're jealous about, man, because I can do films and stuff. A fuck about money. We've got each other, okay? And that's all we need, babe. Let's be a team, stick together. I will fall in love with you. Can't wait to cuddle you and kiss you. Definitely get a fucking kiss tomorrow after Bottle. Going to the Maldives together. Let's have a romantic fucking holiday together one time, okay? <coughs> all inclusive, romantic. We'll go, we'll get our own little chalet. We'll get a, a chef to make our food every day. Our oh, fucking quality. My dream holiday is Bora Bora, and I'm telling you now, I've never ever been, and you're going to be the woman that I go with, because you're going to be, what, be the one that I marry, and I want to marry you there. The only thing you'll probably get on, <laughs> you'll get onto my troll on morning and start calling us a nonce. I don't want that nonce me, you ain't near my daughter. Fuck off, mate. <laughs> I'll find it funny. Would you come and move with me somewhere? If you had to get away, would you? I love you, you know. Thank you very much for standing by me. I am absolutely fucking smitten. I know what I'm paranoid about the weekend. I don't feel in good shape, babe. Don't judge. 
at least we get to cuddle up to each other. I'll wear my vest and my shorts, and I'll keep the uh, big fella low. I fuck, I don't wear pants in bed. Mans will wear shorts, and you can maybe feel it rub against your leg every now and then, getting all turned on and fruity. But, um, you know, I'll keep it, you know, it'll be sweet. I love kissing you, I'll kiss you, cuddle you. But do I get loads of cuddles and kisses, babe? Surely that's allowed.